uh, Joseph Richardson, 220 North Highland Avenue in Winter Garden. Uh, you probably remember that I was here on December 6th to provide the opening invocation on behalf of the Central Florida Free Thought community, and I'm sure you remember that Commissioner Parks planned a second spur of the moment invocation that day, uh, a Christian prayer. Presumably, uh, this happened since my invocation was not a prayer. The fact that my invocation was deemed insufficient prompted a letter of complaint from attorneys at the Freedom From Religion Foundation, our parent organization. It also prompted a blog post that was seen by half a million people and a front page article in the Orlando Sentinel. All three pieces pointed out the problems with having two invocations. I'm here today because the situation remains unresolved. There has been no response to the FFRF letter of complaint. Further, I emailed Commissioner Parks in December, offering to meet with him, and received no response. Finally, another CFFC board member, Mr. Williamson, who is also here today, came here to ask for clarification, and he was referred back to the Sentinel article, where Commissioner Parks said through a spokesman, quote, he would apologize, unquote. This has not happened, and I have no assurance that such an offense won't happen again if our invocation is again deemed inadequate. Although I appreciate Commissioner Parks' sentiments as expressed in the Sentinel article, nothing in them constitutes an acknowledgement that a mistake was made, much less an apology or a commitment to not repeating this mistake. Today I'm respectfully asking this body, not just Commissioner Parks, for those three specific things. An acknowledgement that a mistake was made, the apology that Commissioner Parks' spokesperson said would happen, and a commitment from this board that it will not happen again. If it is true that your intent is to be inclusive, if it's true that the intent was not to demean my message, if it's true that it saddens you to know that I felt mistreated by the offering of a second invocation, then I hope that you will be eager to acknowledge the mistake, to apologize, and to make sure that it is not repeated. In my view, and I hope the view of everyone here, the actions that I'm requesting are not signs of weakness, but of strength and of a commitment to doing the right thing. It would show respect not just to me or to our organization or to atheists generally, but to every citizen of Lake County, regardless of their religious beliefs. I look forward to your response and to a resolution of this matter. And I'm happy to answer any questions if you like. Thank you. Thank you.